This is not two by four sandwiched together. This is what I would call, and I know I use this a lot, but Strainrite has some great products. This is a wedge board strainer for net wire, woven wire. It'll work with high tensile, low carbon wire, whatever net wire you're using, this will work with it. But we're gonna show you how to use this to stretch your net wire in a much better way. It's, it's much more nicer. Without further ado, let's get into it. Step number one, install this underneath. Okay, step number two, install this with these in the direction of your pole so they need to go that way. This edge is flat, this one's sloped. This is the top side, this is against the board. So go in like that. This operates much on the same principles as concrete forms. If you've ever seen the concrete forms where you use wedges like this to tighten the forms to the stake, it's much the same. I'm just gonna get them started. They make another style where you can actually use the impact and screw these down instead of using that teacher on. Hey, you know what I did? You see how I'm pounding this way? I didn't have my leg there. That's some of that there gray matter common sense where I'm not trying to hammer towards my leg because even pants aren't gonna save me from that kind of mistake. If you want to build fence and full safety gear at your farmer ranch, I won't judge you for that. But for me, I'm good like this. It's just who I am. And just like our other video, we gotta make sure that if we're gonna walk this chain, that it's not twisted. And these have the spring, and I like to have this fall at the bottom so it doesn't fall up. So. This is much like the barbed wire stretcher that we showed you the other day. We're gonna go right up here, straighten this up, right about there. Same, very same principle, but this is a different part and these are different chains. These are much longer chains. You could actually use these same chains if you bought these along with the barbed wire stretcher that we showed you in a previous video. You can actually use these with your barbed wire stretcher if you have a long run of barbed wire. And I can hook this on either way. I just like the hook on the other end. Again, making sure my chain's not twisted, really easy to see it. Chain's coming out the bottom side of my strainer. Now these handles, when you start getting some serious tension on them, that's the snake of this operation. They'll bite you and they'll hurt. They'll hurt real bad, okay? So now we can strain this up and as you can see, so if this thing like between bites, if you let go, that's going to hurt. So don't do that. Stand aside. That's gray matter stuff right there. We're going to call that gray matter stuff. And we can get this uh, super tight, except for, you know, this is right there. That's my fault. It's my fault and it's fault of, I don't have any bracing. So we're actually pulling these posts over. The whole point of this video was to show you how to stretch using the wedge board, uh, yeah, whatever, what are they called? They're called wedge strainer. The 1300 millimeter, which equates to, I don't know, do some math on the screen and show them how much 1300 millimeter is. We have three different lengths of these. Um, and there'll be a link down below if you're really interested in these, but this is by far the best net wire stretcher out there. Along with these two boundary strainers, this, board plus two boundary strainers and we could actually hook another so if we wanted to do a gut stretch or gut strain which means we'll pull in the middle of a run of fence and pull them together and 
we can hook this onto another wedge board. So I recommend having two wedge boards, two strainers, two of the wedge boards, and that way you can do gut strains if you need to. If you'd rather bring them together in the middle and then crimp them together with both ends tied off, that works really, really well on long runs. But anyhow, that's the world's best net wire stretcher or woven wire stretcher for high tensile or low carbon wire. And until next time, you have a good dang day. Don't forget your gray matter either, right up here. Bring that every time.